Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's 2023. I have a plan here in this video. One is we're going to play the play the what if game. What if? What if this? What if that? 2023. What if? What if in 2023 all the fast food places, you know, Whataburger, McDonald's, and all that stuff. What if they started selling food that was healthy? Ha <laughs> ha! You know what I mean? What if they sold food that was low calorie, healthy food that helped your you you live longer? You know what I mean? What if they did that? What if they did that? What if you went to your doctor and and instead of the doctor looking as you at you as the next potential lawsuit and running every imaginary test that probably isn't needy, they just did the necessary things and helped you stay healthy, huh? What about that? What if products made in China were quality products. <laughs> all of them. What if they were all high quality, excellent, well-made products? And also, what if all products made in the U.S. were the same? You know, that whenever a corporation put out a product, they ran it through all kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it? Were they uh, quality control deals? And made damn sure that the product was perfect or as good as they could possibly make it. What if, what if they did that? What if, oh, look at this thing fuzz up on me. Damn you thing. Why does it do that? Anyway, enough said. What if my phone didn't have that fuzzy up stuff on the video, huh? Why does it do that? I don't know. But anyway, enough said. What if, uh, yeah, you know, products were made to last, you know? What if that? What if, what if, what if, what if, what else? What else can I think of? What if customer service was excellent everywhere you went and, and if you didn't receive good customer service the corporation called you the president of the corporation or somebody in the higher up area called you and personally apologized to you for not receiving excellent service at their store and their product was not perfect you know what i mean what if what if that's the world we lived in you know, why, how did we choose this world? I mean, well, let me think. Could greed have a little to do with it? I don't think so. Surely not. No, we, we don't make imperfect products because we make more money, do we? Surely not. That would be inhumane. And we're a humane country and world. And what if all those fast food places made food that was healthy? Well, who's to say they don't, huh? Did you ever see the documentary, Super Size Me? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not saying that the documentary might have been a little overdone, but it was pretty damn good. Yeah, but enough said about that. But it is something to think about. You know, instead of imperfection, why don't we have perfection? I don't know. There's, is, there, is, is the only option uh, imperfection, I guess, or greed? Greed. Greed is good. Uh, that was said in a movie, Wall Street, by somebody. And, yeah, he got up in the middle of a board of directors, or no, it was a stockholders meeting, and he said, greed is good. Now, look at my damn phone fuzz up. See, that? that's that's not good. You know what I mean? See how it does that? It goes in and out. Well, anyway, it's a Pixel 6 from Google, so Google, fix that. Why is it doing that? Anyway, enough said. Greed is good. He explained, went on to further explain why greed was good, because without greed, we wouldn't have any progress. Okay, that's possibly, unfortunately, true. <clears throat> because if it wasn't for the greed of having more nuts than the other squirrels in the forest, uh, you know, the squirrel population would decline, you know. But yeah, you know, off to my left, I can see SpaceX. I can actually see the 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 starship and the the booster thing from right here i know you can't but i can so that's another thing what if everything starship did was just super successful and we were on mars next week you know why not why not why not plan on success you know you know well you you, you have to i guess plan on both failure and success because Failure leads to success. It's like a salesman. If you're selling a product that's not very popular or damn hard to sell, 
well, like life insurance, for example, and it takes you 20 calls or 20 knocks on the door or 20 in fa face to face interviews to make one sale, then that means if you need to make five sales a week to survive, then you're going to have to make a hundred face to face calls. All right. And that's called knowing your numbers. Once you know your numbers, what does that have to do with what if? Well, what if you didn't know your numbers and you just stumbled around and went bankrupt? And a lot of people do. So guys, from the Rio Grande Valley of Texas, 2023, a beautiful day. And uh, yeah, but just think about it. What if all these fast food places actually sold food that was very healthy every day three meals a day and the, would the lines get shorter probably would the price go up i guess or they wouldn't do it you know i mean they wouldn't sell the crap they sell i don't know man it's just stuff i'm thinking about now because see it's 2023 it's a new year and i'm a new me you know everything changed at the midnight uh you know the 31st of december and I just woke up, wow, damn, I'm brand new, man. I'm starting all over again. Yeah, hello world, here I am. Yeah, I hear you. Back on the meds, huh? There's another one. What if medication was inexpensive? What if, what if you just paid for the actual cost plus, plus a small profit of say 10% for all your pharmaceuticals? You know, why is it that, you know, right here in the Rio Grande Valley, people can drive right across the border, get their prescriptions filled for one tenth the cost of getting it done in the United States. Mm -hmm. How about that one? Well, well, guys, think about it. Having said that, Happy New Year, Happy Everything, Happy, Happy, Happy. Uh, enjoy your life. Do the best you can to have a good year. Keep your health. And who knows, you might be eating at McDonald's to get healthy. How about that? Adios, amigos. Thumbs up, carpet, and minus five. Bye-bye. Use the Amazon link. Drink plenty of water. Stretch walk. Keep your health. Bye.